Hey guys and girls, welcome back to the channel. Hey, today we're going to be doing a review on this Cobalt 10 inch table saw with folding stand. So make sure you stay through the uh, entire video because I'm going to show you how to put it together, the features, and do a couple of test cuts. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to open the box I'm using my Milwaukee uh, razor knife. Let's do this. I'm going to do, unpack all the material. Okay, so, and in the top of the box. Okay, so as you can see, the top of the box is the actual rolling frame pieces that we're going to use and put together. So one of the things you're going to want to do when you're unpacking this is you're going to go down the corners, being careful not to cut anything, and cut every corner down. So I'm going to cut all the corners and lay this out. Looks like this is in a couple of pieces. As you can see the styrofoam separates. It's kind of got little hand handles here, so let's separate this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start putting the stand together. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a quarter inch ratchet and a 13 millimeter socket. And you're going to take out, this is the leg assembly where the wheels attach. And you're going to loosen and remove the nut and one of the washers and then you're going to attach the wheel make sure that the longer the flat part of the wheel goes to the outside you don't want the wheel rubbing up against the frame and then you replace the washer and put the nut back on Tighten this back down. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to remove the nut. And like I said, there's two washers, so you want to leave one of the washers on. And the flat side of this wheel is what faces out so that the wheel doesn't rub up against the frame. Add the washer, put your nut back on, like this, and tighten the nut down. And as you see, it rolls. And then you're ready to set this part aside and start the next part of the frame. Okay, so we're going to be putting together the next section of the legs to the, the actual stand. Uh, they are marked M on the left and N is on the right. And we're going to attach this crossbar, which is labeled R. These use a, to these long uh, number six 50 by 50 millimeter bolts you will need a 10 millimeter ratchet and socket so let's get that attached okay so I've got the crossbar here and I've started the bolts so we're just going to finish tighten those up with ratchet and get these all together here and then once I get these set up, then we're going to just set this aside and move to the next step. Okay, so once you have uh, the legs M and N uh, attached with crossbar R, then you're going to put the other crossbar S. You're going to attach it, and it just slides right on the legs here and slides down until it stops. You may have to 
wiggle them a little bit because it is painted. And I wanted to show you, see where it's a square slot here? See the square slot? Okay, so these cap bolts are on the inside. You can see where they're square. So all you gotta do is that just let you know what side to put the cap on. Slide that through. Line it up. Slot right in. Attach your your nut to it. And on this side, you're going to have to go back to the 13 millimeter socket. Now I'm going to get the other side attached, and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, so now we're going to attach the handles, and these are labeled I1 and I2. So you're going to want to line them up as you can see they just slide in and we're using the same style cap bolts uh, that we used on the other section of the legs and we'll just uh, get this attached slide these through line them up matter of fact I'm gonna put them on this side Okay, so one of the things I wanted to show you earlier is you want to make sure your cap is facing out and the nut is actually on the inside of this handle bracket here. Now we're going to attach the rest of the bracket to the saw. And as you can see, there's holes here and hole right here. I'm going to use one of these long screws with a little short thread on it. So another cap screw and a spacer. So just slide your hole through. Add the spacer, line it up right here, and it just slides through the other side. Okay, so make sure that the cap's on the outside, still using a 13 millimeter lock nut on it. Attach that and tighten this down. You're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So you have the nut, a spacer, and the lock nut. You're just gonna come back over here on the other side, line it up, slide it, oh, put the spacer in there. Get the bolt, lift it up just a smidge, get the spacer on, and line it up with the hole here. Line up the slot, add the lock nut, and You've got this part taken care of. We're going to tighten this down and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so what I've done uh, for this last step here, getting the, the actual stamp put together, is I cut this uh, strap off. It was attached right here. And then you'll see there's another one here. We're going to cut that one off here in just a second. That's just the, the break, I believe. We're still using the long cap bolts right through here. We're going to put a spacer again line it up you may have to adjust this bracket a little just to get the bolt started so you can see like I said the cap goes on the outside the spacer your 13 millimeter nut we're gonna put that on and Tighten it down. And we have another 13 millimeter nut. We did the same thing on this opposite side. Okay, so let me come around. I'm going to cut this strap. Okay, takes care of that. And we'll go to the next step. Okay, so we got the uh, stand all put together, bolted down. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to release the lever here. You can see it's got a big picture of a a lock on it 
So you can just, you know, take your foot, reach up here and set the level here, the table saw. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you wanna remove this label right here so that we can adjust the blade and do like I do, just pull it off. And then you wanna release it and you want to adjust this all the way to 45 degrees. And the reason is, is underneath here is some foam packing material. And you want to remove that and make sure, I'm going to look underneath here. Yep, we're all clean. This, this piece of foam just goes around the motor. Once you've removed it, you can move your, your blade adjustment back to zero and lock it into place. Okay, so now we're going to add the handle for your blade adjustment. And it's just that and a Phillips head screwdriver. And we're going to, let me switch this, this is a ratcheting one. And attach that handle. Until it stops. And then we're going to raise the blade up. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is get prepared to put the blade on. The first thing you want to do is if you look right here, there's a lever that unlocks the riving knife. So you just want to lift that up and remove the riving knife. Set that to one side. Remove this nut here and one of the washers. And then get your blade and uh, I'll show you that in just a sec. Okay, so you want to make sure you have the blade going there, uh, pointed in the right direction. You're going to place this washer right back in place. And you see it has a flat edge there, so just adjust it. Push it all the way up against the blade. Start the nut. You got two your wrenches, so this is the one that holds the blade here and then your adjustment and you want to tighten down and then we can add the riving knife back lock it back into play so the next thing you want to do is add the throat plate here put it back on get it in place slap it in there we go I want to show you that you've got three, uh, excuse me, four leveling screws, one on each side, front and back. And what you want to do is screw them in real easily till this is flush with the top of the table saw face here. And these are only for leveling. And that's all you're doing is leveling the throat plate. So like I said, you can adjust it. Just take your finger and Check that on each side. And the last one here. And then once you have this nice and level, you're done with that part. Okay, so the next thing you wanna add here is you wanna put your anti-kickback paw on. And there's, just so you know, there's a button here. You need to push this button in and it fits right into this slot. So push the button, slip it into the slot here. slides forward until it stops that's done and you come back here and on the back piece here you have the blade guard uh, like so until it stops and then it just lays down lock it into place and you're done with that okay so uh, before you add the fence just uh, lift up here this slides out some, makes it easier to put your fence on. And you want to add to the black right there. See how the slot fits in there. And same thing here, lock it into place. Then you can adjust in and out, depending on the width, you, what your material you're cutting. Storage for a push stick there. And there you go. 
um, you're done. It's all put together. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, make sure you hit the like button. It really helps me with YouTube. Don't forget to share with your friends and family, subscribe, and until next time, stay safe.